channel. My name is Catherine and this is Just Been Catherine. And on this channel, I share easy DIYs, home decor on a budget, and every now and then I love to share encouraging messages. And this video is gonna be a very cozy and laid back fall day in a life with me. I seem to be loving these lifestyle videos that people take you into their life and showing you how they're enjoying the fall season. I have taken into consideration that life is very short and you just never know what's going to happen. So I've been spending most days being as intentional as possible with my time. If you follow me on my Instagram, I have a bucket list, a fall bucket list. Um, a lot of things that I always wanted to try but I just never got around to because I'm always so busy and I didn't want that to be an excuse because I realized that I cannot control what happens in this world but I can control just a little bit what happens indoors in our home early mornings are my favorite although sometimes it's really hard to get out of a warm bed but it does encourage me just to slow down and let my mind relax from all of the noise I've been really enjoying making breakfast now that we have a pumpkin shaped waffle maker y'all we had breakfast for dinner last night. That was also on my bucket list. So I have leftover batter that I'll be using. Something so simple as pumpkin shaped waffles and then adding chocolate chips takes it up a notch and really gets you into the festive season. Have you ever woke up and your mind is racing with things that you just have to get done and you haven't been up for no more than five minutes? I found that cooking forces me to wait because you can't rush the food and it's calming. It's like taking that walk or working out before starting your day. Sometimes it can wait. I understand that everybody's situation is different, but maybe finding that medium before starting your day. Texas hasn't quite got the memo that it's fall yet. <laughs> But I try to incorporate little things like wearing a mauve cardigan with a basic white tee and shorts. Growing up in Chicago, the leaves changing seasonal was something I took for granted. I honestly thought the leaves change everywhere around the world. So even if I find a glimpse of colorful leaves in Texas, it's all right with me. Okay, y'all, so I am about to try my very first pumpkin ice drink. Fall will look differently this year, but to make the most out of it, try something new you haven't done before. Pick up fresh flowers, visit a local pumpkin patch, even if it's at your grocery store, because everything is big in Texas. Have you ever wondered why there are so many colors, sizes, and styles of pumpkins? Did you know that pumpkins are fruits and not vegetables? Look at all the Think about what makes your soul happy. Your sense of smell is linked with your memory and the smell of cinnamon and apple is so soothing and will put anybody in a cozy mood. To create a fall stove top simmer, you'll need one apple, two cloves. Now I never heard or used this spice before, but it smelled like a strong spice and then two cinnamon sticks bring your water to a boil and let it simmer y'all just wait for your home to be filled with sweetness and warmth start to actually smell it it only has been like 10 minutes 
it reminds me of a warm apple crisp with ice cream. In life, we're so accustomed to doing the same things over, and I love making memories and creating new traditions for our family. So apple crisp would definitely be one of the new traditions. I've made it twice already. This simmer that's on the stove reminds me so much of it without going through the process of baking. And today it's actually raining outside, so it's like the perfect autumn day. We are now going to go and decorate, and I'm excited about this park. I have some fun things to show y'all. So I'm going to be using a lot of the same items from years prior. I have added two to three new items, such as this beautiful decorative pillow with the different textured leaves. It's a nice muted orange, not too loud for our taste. This pie garland has got to be one of my favorite purchases by far this season. I mean, look how cute this packaging is. It's replicating a pie in a box. And the added touch of whipped cream just took me out, y'all. <laughs> to make our home feel truly like fall, we're adding two real pumpkins. Moving on to my older decor, I have a ceramic pumpkin, one of my favorite fall phrases, a candy jar from Target's Bulleye Playground, two medium-sized textured faux pumpkins. And I don't know the name of these faux plants, but I like how they look. So we're first gonna be decorating our TV console. In our living room makeover video, I had already set the foundation for a super cozy ambience by adding a lot of texture and a lot of autumn colors. So I'll be making very small changes to our console just by adding a few fall decor pieces. Still want more of the traditional color but minimal i'm just going to actually just take the leaves off of this separate the pumpkin from it and just go with the steam i'm going to use the end of the ropes and the gaps in the doors to tuck the rope in i think this is supposed to be pumpkin because i rarely ever see anybody make anything for sweet potato pie but in this house, we love sweet potato pie, so this is officially going to be a sweet potato pie garland. have a lot of faux leaves and I wanted to incorporate them somewhere and I thought it would be really cute to put them inside our lanterns. Just letting it fall where it may. Very simple concept, instant fall decor. Make small changes to your home this fall by swapping out basic decor for themed or color related decor. Use what you already have, or if it's in your budget, treat yourself to something new. But take the pressure off. Your style is unique to you, so finding pieces that you truly love is more impactful and meaningful. We are going to wind down for the day and I love to slip into something super comfortable. Sometimes I wear my fluffy house shoes or in this case, my super warm socks while walking on a hardwood floor. My husband and I have been loving homemade popcorn. If you have never tried it, try it. It's such a simple recipe that allows you to control how much butter and seasoning you want to add to your popcorn. All you need is some olive oil, kernels, butter and salt. 
Let your oil heat up and add three kernels. And once those pop, add the rest of the kernels. And this is my favorite part. It's still popping, baby. We gotta put the shield back on. And I love using ranch dressing seasoning and a little bit of paprika or tahini. And y'all, this is such a flavorful popcorn recipe. Oh my gosh. It's so good. We love popcorn in this house. This one pot is not gonna be enough. We actually gonna make another pot. But this recipe is amazing. It takes it up like 10 notches, y'all. As we're preparing to watch a movie, these type of nights we absolutely love. We just go all out. We're like little kids all over again. And since we have the savory mix, we're gonna be baking the Pillsbury Halloween sugar cookies. Y'all, these have become a staple this season too. They're so, so good. While the cookies are baking, I'm making a cozy fort, bringing in layers of blankets, turning on our flameless candles, and watching the classic but super hilarious movie, Clue. If you have not seen this, you have to. There are multiple endings and you are able to choose if you have the DVD, I believe. You're able to choose how it's gonna end. So every time it's different, but I have seen this movie so many times that it never fails. It's such a great movie to watch with your family. Sometimes after watching a movie, my mind is so alert and awake. I try to wind down mentally by reading a book. I'm currently reading In the Dark, Dark Wood, and I'm on chapter four. I love Ruth Ware. I fell in love with The Woman in Cabin 10, which is one of the three books that I want to share with y'all today. If you want like a fall book, slash like mystery thriller. Woman in Cabin 10 is so crazy. I read this book so fast. I will say that it does start off slow, but it picks up and then it's like a whodunit. And you're flipping pages just trying to like put all the pieces together and the ending is, you don't see it coming. Let's just say that. Turn of the Key. This one is supposed to be a very spooky one. Um, I don't personally like very eerie movies or type of books, but I feel like this one is acceptable. And then of course, I'm currently reading In a Dark Dark Wood, which I heard so many good things about this book. Um, so I'm excited about it. It's also starting off slow, if I can be honest, but I'm sure it's gonna pick up just like the rest of her books. But you can tell that I really love Ruth Rare because all of her books are good. I really want The Lion Game and the death of Mr. Westwire, or Westmire, I don't even remember the name, but I'll leave the book right here. I will let you all know how this turns out, but if you read this book, don't spoil it down in the comments, but just let me know your thoughts on it. for this video i hope you all felt all of the coziness and was inspired to try something new this fall i will link those books down below along with everything else that i can possibly link in this video and as always i will talk to y'all later